You know, this is a, a very uh, challenging issue. Um, some people who might start with a steroid therapy and not have a good response could switch to dietary therapy and vice versa. But the group of patients, maybe 10, 20% of them who don't respond to either of those treatments are very challenging. There are a number of second line medications that have been used in this condition, but are not typically used on a routine basis by most clinicians. You could consider systemic steroids, but these are really for short term use only as they have a lot of side effects with very long term and even medium term use. Uh, there are some allergy medicines like the leukotriene antagonists that have been shown to be uh, useful in some patients. And there's some medications that impact mast cell function. Mast cells are another cell that are involved in EOE, and those can have an effect possibly on some patient. But again, the data are very weak for that. There are scattered case reports of using immunomodulator medications or some new biologic agents. Um, but in general, there aren't great options. Uh, we did some work looking at, uh, at UNC at all the patients who didn't respond to any of the first line diet or steroid uh, treatments. And by doing a number of mechanations and trying other things, we got about 50% of that group to respond to one of those other treatments. I will say that this is the ideal group in some ways, though, to be entered in clinical trials now. There are quite a number of trials ongoing of novel uh, treatment options for this condition. And if you don't respond right now to the first line agents and the second line agents are suboptimal, uh, this is a great time to look into those options.